Okay, now I've got a story for you today. It's quite a long one, so you might want to snuggle in. It's called The Queen's Orangutan, and it's by David Walliams. Now, if you remember, we don't start at the back of the book. We start at the front of the book. Oh, no! We start at the front of the book, and this way, up. And am I going to read the pictures? Or am I going to read the words? That's it. I'm going to look at the pictures and I'm going to read the words. And I'm going to read them from left to right. It's called The Queen's Orangutan. Okay, growing up, she might like this one too. Can you see her? Was trapped. Trapped in a palace. Trapped in a Full of stuff. Mountains and mountains of old stuff. Every night she would dream of escaping. Can you see what stuff she's got? She's even got a giraffe. The Queen had so much stuff that when it was her birthday, no one had a clue what to give her. But this year, she knew exactly what she wanted. Oh, uh, would you like a solid gold diamond encrusted stair lift, mummy? Guessed the prince. Or, or, or a great big <clears throat> bottle of brandy, said the red-nosed duke. No, snapped the queen. Guess again. No, said the queen in a telling-off tone that they'd all heard many times before. Um, 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 would you like a set of porcelain symbols, hand-painted with the Commonwealth flags on? Guessed the royal baby. No, replied the Queen. Well, what then? What do you want? For one's birthday, one would very much like one's own rangatang. <gasps> Shock silence descended. Before the Duke raged, you want a giant monkey? Orangutans are not monkeys, they are apes, corrected the Queen. You want a giant ape? Yes. Stuffed? No, a live one, please, she said, and then she turned it upside down and roasted up. Finally, the royal baby spoke up for the whole family. Great grandmama, why on earth do you want a big, beastly orangutan? To be my new best club, of course. So the next morning, they all gathered together and they sang, Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. There was a gigantic cake the size of a paddling pool. And next, the big doors opened and <gasps> an orangutan came in. He lolloped in, he climbed up the curtains, and then he swung on the chandelier. Finally, the orangutan died down flat and landed in the birthday cake. The queen had a big smile. This was going to be the best birthday ever. Later, the Prime Minister came to visit. He was a bit boring. Secretly, the Queen really didn't like the visits. He went on and on about himself. I'm sure I'll go down in history. Tea, Prime Minister, said the Queen, interrupting. As the greatest leader ever this country has seen. He went on and on and on. And then in came the Queen's new butler. The orangutan <laughs> slurped some tea out of the teapot and then he emptied it <laughs> off the Prime Minister's head. Said the Queen, would that be milk and two sugar, the Prime Minister? That afternoon, the Queen had to sit for her thousandth bum. Numbing timed 
portrait. Oh, she really didn't like having these paintings done. But this time, she asked for some paints to be given to her new butler. The orangutan had paint and canvas. The royal portrait painting, the creepiest, creepiest man in all creepiness history. But they both painted the queen a picture. Here they are, we've got the portrait painting and the orangutan. Oh yes, one of the orangutans has captured one perfectly. Let's hang it in the grand banquet hall. We'll hang yours. That very night, the Queen had to host yet another boring banquet at Buckingham Palace for all the leaders of the world. The Queen had to sit next to the President of the United States. Her Majesty found this man an enormous pain in the bottom. For whatever delicious dishes the Queen served, he always just wanted a portion of fries, even pudding. But the man her Majesty knew just what to do to liven things up. She arranged for her new butler to join in the after dinner entertainment. Dancing with the Royal Ballet Company! Can you see who else is not allowed to do this dancing then? The next morning, the man brought the Queen her breakfast. And it came with him. All was good. Good morning, Your Majesty, she chirped as she opened the curtains. Except, in the bed, Ow! she said, throwing the breakfast in the air. It was the orangutan. Meanwhile, outside Buckingham Palace, a figure was swinging across the courtyard on a jungle vine. It was the queen. Stop her! But the beer bearskin guards could not do a thing. The Queen was free! All the Queen left behind was her. I hear my decree that my orangutan butler should be made king and should be in charge of everything henceforth, herewith. Goodbye forever. Signed, Her Royal Majesty. Like a great big ape, an orangutan, to be a king of our country. <gasps> I wonder if he would. Hope you enjoyed the story. Bye.